that's probably would be. You know, from up here, you realise just how fragile the Earth is. Um, and that atmosphere is extremely thin. We really need to work together to look after the planet. Over. Hi, Karen. I feel like I've been preparing for space um, since I was a teenager. Everything I've done uh, in all of my, my jobs has really helped me and prepared me for, for this mission. Over. Hi, Jacob. Well, for me, it was the pinnacle of a flying career. Being a test pilot, you push boundaries, you explore new things, and to go to explore new frontiers and to be at the cutting edge of technology for me was just the height of my professional career. Over. Hello, Lester. You know, I haven't seen any with the naked eye, but when I've gone back and looked at some of my time lapse photographs, I can easily see lots of uh, satellites on my time lapse photographs, but not noticed them with the naked eye. Over. Hi Emily, that's a great question, and yes, it would do, but I weigh only 70 kilograms, the space station weighs 400 tons, so I won't make much of an impact. Over. I did work in uh, uh, the I remember we had a one-way plan, but I don't know all the birds are probably doing that. NASA wants to go there and return their astronauts uh, to Earth. Uh, now, which I think is what we should be trying to do. Great question. Uh, not really, but what you can see it do is do a reboot. And the other day, uh, I floated about five seconds before the reboot and watched myself drift backwards through the space station as the space station was zooming forward. Over. Hi, Steve. Well, uh, you mentioned exercise. The only other thing we can really do is, well, so we tried this outside. I tried to prevent any of the I don't think we've got time to go into Einstein's uh, equations, but uh, we can 